thousands of campaign signs end up stolen or vandalized. Good evening, I'm Calvin Snead. And I'm Kim Chapman. City elections are next week, but today we're hearing from a business owner who says his signs are the target of vandalism in every election. News Channel 9's Micaiah Thurman has the story. Micaiah. Kim, Calvin, the first and most obvious sign of election season is the breakout of campaign signs along the road. But one business owner says no matter where he puts his signs, someone comes in the middle of the night to destroy them. I would say approximately five signs. I had about three or four UCF Hub King signs, Standing Burke sign, which I do support. Broken into two pieces, this is all that's left of mayoral candidate Andy Burke's campaign sign in front of Bears Barber Shop in Alton Park. As I entered the my lot this morning, I noticed that my signs had been taken down. This row of signs was destroyed just outside of the shop owned by Larry High. This is a free country. People should have a right to back whoever they would, they, they would like. Some of his regular customers say enough is enough. I think it's very disappointing. This is the seventh time it's going to happen within the last election. High is even more frustrated knowing that campaign signs across the street went untouched. My Andy Burke sign, it was on steel rods. So it was intentionally done. This was no wind damage. Did no wind do, do, do this. The signs across the street, they are still rem remaining standing. But all of my signs have been taken down. His campaign signs got an unwanted makeover once before last year. Well, basically, I keep having the, the exact same problem. During the presidential e election, uh, people came by and, and they always come on the weekend and take my signs down. No matter what, High is prepared to replace and repair all of his signs. I think she put them back up. And I think people should let them stay. You know, everybody have a right to voice their opinion, but they shouldn't be taking stuff down off uh, people's personal property. 43 years I have had it like that, and I will continue to leave it like that. If someone gets caught vandalizing or stealing a sign in Tennessee, the penalty is a fine of $200 or more, as well as a possible, uh, possibility of jail time.